Corey? What? It's John David doing here. He's your next interview. With Doug Commander getting bigger lately, I've decided to hire myself an assistant. Just because I'm the CEO doesn't mean I hook up all your family members for jobs. Really? You've hooked up all your family members? Problem is, Corey keeps bringing in her family to interview. Corey, he is a slobby hobo. Don't say that. He's right out there. I don't care. The last thing I want to hire is more family, especially Corey's. He's smart. He's educated. He's got on flip-flops. I think he's going to be perfect. All right, five minutes, and that's it. All right. You think my family's weird? You should check out hers. All right, here he is. Hey, John Day, what's up, brother? You doing good? Yeah, man, I'm doing great. Oh, lost a flip-flop, my bad. <laughs> flip-flops. All right, well, cool. Well, um, I ain't got much time, man. I got, like, five minutes. I got another something to do. All uh, right, yeah, I'll take a seat. Tell him what your degree is, John David. I'm a finance major, so. See? Ah. How long were you in money? school? Like, 10 years? That's the six. Willie, you need an assistant. He needs a job. Hey, take it easy. Nacho Libre, huh? Mm. That movie is fantastic. Wow. It's the best in the world. Oh, God. <laughs> Here's the deal. If I can get along with you, that's half the job right there. I've memorized that entire movie in my mind. <laughs> and so far, I'm noticing that, much like me, he can quote and appreciate highbrow comedies. Nacho! This guy might just be a little bit the deal. The best. Everybody's dancing at the party. Wasn't that from Nacho Libre? It's more the delivery. All right, Corey, we need some quiet time. All right, I'll have fun. All right, you're hired. Clean all this crap up on my desk. I need some coffee too, like bad. Right now or chop chop. Bang, bang, Johnny D. Find some tennis shoes, for crying out loud. Nacho! 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 Well, you're not doing it right. Hey, it's lunchtime. Ah, what? stop it. You start eating that, there won't be any left. It is good, though. Hey, hey. that's my baby. Oh, mm. What about it? Oh, what about it? Mm. Yeah, what'd you do, get a day off? I took a personal day. Where's your woman? Jess is sick, so. I had to get out of the house and bring the kids here. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you can't have a day off. Oh, no, I can't get out of the house and bring the kids somewhere else. Good. Well, you ought to leave them with them. Tell the only them way to beat a disease is you got to catch it, beat it, you don't get it anymore. He says it builds up your immunity. No doubt about it. It does. Dad is nuts sometimes. Throw them out there in that dirt and that mud, let them wall around a little bit. He used to expose us to microbes as a kid. Immune system, bump, bump, bump. You know what came of that? I got sick. A lot. You know what you kids need to do? Get out there in the mud, find any kind of dung, pick it up and throw it at each other. See what I'm saying? Don't do What's that. What's a dung? It's so like poo-poo in a, in a pancake. Uh, hey, why don't you guys take the kids outside to play? That's the best idea I've heard all day. Y'all want to go play? I'll yeah! Think, yeah, I'm thinking about that. We can go on a treasure hunt. <gasps> yeah! Hey, look, I am the best treasure hunter in these parts. No. Mm-mm. Hey, look, one time, Phil buried a pair of shoes, tennis shoes, okay, outside our house. My old great uncle told me one time, he said, if you ever catch a skunk in a trap, don't take him out. I didn't follow that advice. I said, I'm gonna get this skunk out of this trap. Well, I ended up stomping him to death, and I had a pair of tennis shoes on. I went out there and buried the tennis shoes because they stunk so bad. I found them, I dug them up, and hey, I wore them all the time. They stunk from the time I stomped that skunk till they rotted off size feet. I played basketball for hours in the thing. And look, hey, nobody could guard me. When that sucker came down the court dribbling that ball, you could just see them other guy just getting out of his way. They were a little stinky, but other than that, perfectly good shoes. It was the funk zone. Long story short, I'm a great treasure hunter. All right, look, y'all give me about 12 minutes, and I'm fixing to go out here and set up the treasure hunt. Treasure. OK, you want to come with me? No. Ball flat? Listen, listen. That's been a good ball, man. 
See if you can fix it. Uh, what, you mean give it CPR? Give it mouth to mouth. Put that down. Gentlemen, after a long, exhaustive search, I finally found my perfect assistant. What's going on, guys? You can call him Johnny D. He's gonna be helping me out. What do you need a manservant for anyway? Willie doesn't need any help around the office. I need help. I'm not even real sure what he does. I'm stretched thin. You've never been stretched thin in your life. He just wanted someone slightly heavier and hairier. It's amazing how much y'all look alike. Thank you. So he looked better by comparison. He looks like a reflection of you. That's actually good. He is a reflection of me. When you see him, you see me. Are you delusional? I'm not taking orders from a guy wearing shorts and sandals. Don't worry about what he's got on, all right? You wouldn't last five minutes in the woods wearing that. But we're in a warehouse. Good comeback. Thank you. Johnny D, what else I got to do? Dude, I've only worked here for like 30 minutes. Come on. I'm gonna work on that. Yeah, we'll get it. When I go fist, you go fist. Okay. So always. Fist means fist. Uh. All right, look here. Y'all welcome to Uncle Si's great, amazing, okay, great, just out of this world treasure hunt. Know what I mean? Woohoo. All right, y'all fired up about it? No. No. No? No. Uh, yeah, we are. We're fired up about it. Hey, look, when it comes to putting on a treasure hunt, look, I found my own special style. Y'all are fixing to go on an event of a lifetime. Look, it's almost too much fun, if there was such a thing. So si, what are those cards for? OK, look, you got to have riddle cards. Hey, trust me, they're not. I tried. You can't just wing it, OK? This is a methodical treasure hunt. Championship. All right, we're here. Let's dig it up or whatever. No, I don't think so there, Eddie Vader. You think X marks the spot? Yeah, that's no, exactly what it is. No, X marks the starting spot. No, that's totally backwards. That's the starting point right there. X marks the starting point. No, no, it doesn't. Hi, yes, yes, it does. It makes perfect sense. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Nope. All right, moving right along. All right, here's the riddle. This first lady took flight when her husband was elected the 36th president of the United States. So what are you talking about? Hey, it's a riddle. Look, I might never gave you the answer. These kids are 10 and under. They ain't gonna know that. Uh, look, this is easy. Cy si has always had trouble with age-appropriate activities. Listen to it. This first lady Took flight. Took flight. Flight. Si, I don't know what you're talking about. When I was five, Si gave me and my brothers matches, and he taught me to light my farts on fire. Hey, you got 30 seconds to answer. Or what? What happens? Hey, pipe down there, Pearl Jam. Now that I think about it, I'm lucky to be alive. The president was Lyndon Bain Johnson. So the first lady would be who? Nobody. Come on. What flies? Name some stuff that flies. Bird? Bah, right answer. So, what's her name? Lady. Lady. Bird Johnson. All right. Where do birds live? Nest. No. But <laughs> where do birds live? Sasha, he's right. right. He's right. Trees. Trees? Birds don't live in trees. <laughs> Birdhouses. Bird lives in birdhouses. Good grief. Where is there a birdhouse around this joint? Right there. Right here. All right. Keep going. Now, that's where the clue is. Bye. It's boring. You're boring there, Mr. River. Si, would you quit arguing with my son? This is just raw cinnamon. It is impossible to eat that. <laughs> So far, having Johnny D as an assistant is working out swimmingly. The kid is smart, he's funny, and he even taught me a thing or two I didn't know. There's something about cinnamon in your mouth that makes you... <laughs> if you don't have an assistant, you should really go get one. They're awesome. That's what everybody does. You can't... Oh, we're just watching this girl trying to eat cinnamon. We need a meeting. I got tons of crap I'm trying to do. 
Yeah, you look busy. John D, meeting time. All right. Take notes. You got it. I was thinking about a private meeting. Put private meeting with Jace. I don't think you follow me. And put the time and date. Private. Whatever you say in front of me, you can say in front of Johnny D. Well, the meeting was about him. No, I'm fine if he sits here. I just think it may get awkward for him. Johnny D, go get some coffee or something. All right, you got it. Yeah, make me some coffee. Don't be ordering my assistant around. He stuck his head in my shop and said, get back to work. <laughs> I told him to do that. <laughs> this assistant thing, it's not working. If you want to pick up a hobo and help him out, great. I ain't taking no lip off no Manny. What is a Manny? It's like a nanny, but it's a Manny. But pigs will have to fly before I take orders from this guy. That doesn't even make sense. He's taking care of all your stuff. He's like your redneck butler. What redneck doesn't want a butler? Well, me. Good point, good meeting. Don't blame me when he comes down here and he's Because I'm going to put him to the test. Jase, don't you mess with him. You can count on that. If you mess with him, you mess with me. Deal. That's not a deal. Hey, I got the next riddle for you. Look at me. Cowboy. Nope. You're a downhill skier. Nope. You're a crazy man leading us on a ridiculous treasure. No. Hunt. Hey, I'm sitting. No. Nope. Rocking chair. Hey, rocking chair is the right answer. Uh, Y'all ready to go? Rocking chair's over. There better be candy in it. No, that's what the next clue's at. Then I'm not going. Come on. First of all, it took Cy si over an hour to set up this stupid treasure hunt. So si, we're losing these kids. They're having the time of their life. I don't care anymore. Fun overload. And second, it's not even a treasure hunt. It's just stupid riddles. All right, name the founding members of Credence Clearwater Revival. Superman? Nope. I'll help you out. Down on the river. Out in the streets, over on Phil's land, not even skipping a beat. What are you saying? Mm, that ain't no. Are you finished? Mm, 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 mm. Hey, is there candy here? Are you finished? I don't care about candy anymore. All right, we're almost there, okay? Oh, by the way, you're gonna need shovels. What for? It's called buried treasure for a reason. I passed the hole, I think it'll work. Did you? Yeah. No. That's like size head, empty. Look, if you lose a basketball, the game must go on. That's just the redneck way. Ah, uh, let's just keep playing with the Frisbee. You know, when I was a kid, we played Frisbee with a pizza pan. It's all in the wrist, boys. And look, when we lost that, we played golf with a hoe and a shovel. Hey, this is fun. The game is marching forward. This is our new game, Basket Bee. Pass, make the pass. <laughs> Oh! oh! I'm gonna get my Jordan. Oh! oh. 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 Hey, look, here's a baby one right here. That's a water bottle cap. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Well, if it isn't old Manny. What's y'all doing? Play a little game of basket B. What happened to the basketball? The basketball is flat. That's weird. What are you writing down there, Manny? Don't worry about it. Anyway, we need to uh, rendezvous over there in the conference room for a little while. We got a meeting set up. Meeting? This is an important meeting. We need to have it, so. No. Nah. What are you doing that's so important that you can't meet? We got to do something. Inventory. Inventory. Yeah. Look, I've been at Duck Commander for 30 years. Doesn't really look like inventory is happening to me. No, oh, it was pretty good. You should have seen it. An outsider can't just barge in here and start ordering my team around. Yeah, but anyway, if we could just, you know. No. You got to earn your respect. Manny. You can't break our ranks. Let me tell you something, Manny. I got snacks. Oh. 
I like snacks. Perfect. Unfortunately, our ranks consist of two very large men. It's snacks. Who love to eat. They're good snacks, not just the crappy snacks. I'm in. Mark. What, inventory doesn't have snacks. This meeting does. I'm all about snacks. Awesome. Well, I'll see you guys in a few then. Jace, I'll see you there. It's that easy? You act surprised. Look at us. Valid point. It's snacks. These donuts are not even hot. Everybody knows that when I eat a donut, it's got to be flaming hot. If this guy thinks he's going to entice us, at least he needs to do it right. It's not hard to do. Rule number one of bribery, hot donuts. With black coffee. I'll make a note. Godwin and Martin, OK, they fell for it. Nice work. But I just wanted to let you guys know that. <sighs> Lodge tear. Lodge tear. Deep breath. <sighs> It's gonna take something more than that before I'm hook, line, and sinker. Where's Willie? Off the premises right now. What does that mean? He's at the driving range. <sighs> Why are we in here while Willie's playing golf? And other than your beard, I'm not sure you're qualified to work here. There is only one surefire way to test the merit of a new employee. Well, we'll settle this right now. Uh-oh. This separates the men from the boys. If you can make a decent mallard sound, I will listen to the rest of your five minute presentation. Do you know how to operate a duck call? I think that was enough. Yeah. All right, let's get out. Thanks for the donuts. I'm going to grab one for the road, though. Oh, what the crap? I just take the whole box. Come on, Gavin. Let's get out of here. No, wait. He ain't leaving me out. Si, why'd you bring us to a gravesite? Daddy, did somebody die? X marks the spot. That doesn't look like an X. That looks like a grave marker. It's fitting that Si took us to a grave at the end of this treasure hunt. If you look at it this way, it's an X. Because this is where fun has come to die. They're not going to dig up any animals, are they? I can't guarantee that. So okay. you realize it's going to scar them for life if they dig up some dead animal? Well, look, I, I'm just telling you, I buried candy, OK? So if you dig up a bone, that ain't the candy. Go ahead and dig it up. Uh, uh, uh. Do not hit each other in the face with those. It's funny that the only part of this treasure hunt Wow, how deep did you bury this stuff? I don't remember. That's actually a treasure hunt. Look at how much fun they had. Yeah, they're just to kill each other. It's candy buried in dirt. She just put that in her mouth, huh? Uh, that dirt it's on good it. for you. <laughs> yeah, that's a real treasure. This was a terrible day. Terrible day? What are you talking about? It was a great treasure hunt. Anybody seen Johnny D? You mean Manny? Manny. Manny. He's probably sitting in the bathroom crying. Trying to figure out where it all went wrong. Yeah. I told you not to be messing with him. I told you I was going to mess with him, and I put him to the test. And guess what? He failed. Speak of the What's devil. Up? Oh, Manny. Manny. What's up, y'all? Well, he didn't quit. Where have you been? Looks like he's been rummaging around your bandanas. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to look more professional. What do you think? Well, just when I thought he couldn't possibly be a better assistant, he goes and throws on the Stars and Stripes bandana. Thank you. But that was it. better. That was better. Way better. God. My little Willie is growing up to look just like me. Twinsies. What you got in the bag? Kind of got weird earlier. So I went to the store. Check out here. Hey. 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 Now we're talking. Trying to do my best to make the workplace better. I might have been a little quick to judge old Manny here. I mean, the basketball, that's a nice touch. Johnny did. I didn't tell you to go get a basketball. And the fact that it annoyed Willie? It's like giving Goblin a bag of Snickers and telling him not to eat it. Yeah, it's just dumb. Made it even sweeter. Theirs was flat, so I figured, you know, every once in a while you need to go shoot some hoops in the All right, house. we'll meet about this later. You did good, son. Welcome to the team. But you're still a rookie. Manny? Since you came through with the ball, I'm going to give your own personal duck call to practice with. All right. Well, thank you. All right. 
Let's go. Back to work. Everybody good? Whoa, 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 whoa. You know how hard it'd be to work staring at a brand new basketball? Jace, we're not playing basketball. <laughs> oh. Walk it in. Two uh, nothing. Two nothing. Two uh, nothing. Right. I'm open. I'm open. Pass me the ball. I'm open. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> ah. Father, we do thank you for this good deer. For that, we are grateful. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Sometimes life can feel like a Cy Robertson treasure hunt. Confusing, frustrating, even a bit dangerous. And when you finally get to the treasure, it's covered in dirt. But you don't dig up real treasures in life. The real treasure is spending some quality time with your kids or finding an awesome assistant, even if he looks like a caveman wearing flip-flops. Hey, Jeff, name the first three presidents of the United States. Sorry, are you serious? Hey, I was just wondering.